What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a very, very long time since I have filmed. So I'm gonna warn you now, I'm probably gonna be a little scatty brain, scatty brain, scatter brain because you know, it's just been a long time since I've done this process. However, I wanted to come to you guys today because I received a package from CoverGirl Insider with the full range of the Healthy Elixir foundation that they recently have come out with. Um, like I said, they sent me the full range. I grabbed two colors that I think would be closest to my skin tone. We will test these out. I will give you my first impression. I will wear it throughout the day. And at the end of the day, I will come to you guys to let you know how I feel about it. I plan to do like some housework and at some point I may be going to the gym. So that's really going to put it to the test. But um, yeah, so on the back, its claims are to be a lightweight full coverage makeup and it hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and antioxidants and it says it is oil free. What I did notice just now is that they actually have an expiration date on the back, which I really, really appreciate because sometimes I have foundations for years and years and I don't know when exactly to throw it out. So I do like that they included that in it. Um, the two shades that I grabbed, which I felt would match me best would be warm beige and soft honey. Um, I'm kind of mismatched right now. My my upper body is a little bit darker than my lower body and my face is lighter than my arms and things. So I'm gonna swatch warm beige first just to see. And I'm gonna just do this along my jawline and I'm gonna do soft honey on the other side and then we will see which one may be best for me. They're really similar, but soft honey being a little bit more on the darker side, so. Mm. I don't know, what do you guys think? I definitely feel like Soft Honey is the better match, so I am going to wipe this side off with just a paper towel. And I am going to apply this with a Beauty Blender sponge. That's how I would normally apply my foundations. So I took two pumps on the back of my hand and I am just going to dot it all over. I feel like two pumps is definitely a good amount to cover your entire face. And of course we are going to blend out. All right, now that this is all blended out, this is the first layer. I can still see just a couple of blemishes that I had around my mouth, which are fairly new. So they are very, very, you know, out, out there and in your face. So I am going to just dot a little bit more coverage there. But overall, I feel like this gave me pretty good coverage. I usually go for a more medium coverage. So I will say this is my speed. Um, It definitely has more of a dewy glow to it and it could be all of the vitamins and everything that are mixed in. And I didn't mention which vitamins they had. They just have it listed on this here. It's E, B3, Annabelle. Sorry, <laughs> E, B3, and B5 vitamins. So yeah, 
All right, so I do not have a CoverGirl powder to set my face, so I am just going to use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus powder. Um, I always set my face with the powder, so today will be no different. I did not use a primer, however, because on a day-to-day, -day, that's just a step that I choose to skip. It definitely looks like a more skin-like finish, so I do like that. I wiped a, with a little, little. I wiped a bit of my eyebrow away, so I am going to reapply in the areas that have kind of faded out. I kind of wanted to put my eyebrows on beforehand just to kind of skip that step because I feel like it's pretty repetitive. You guys have seen me put my eyebrows on before. All right, as for the rest of my look, I am pretty much going for just like bronzy, glowy type makeup. All right, and this is the finished look. Um, so far, the foundation has set really, really nicely. It looks like skin, which I really, really ap appreciate. Uh, I really appreciate because in the summertime you don't want like cakey i mean some people do and i'm not i'm not knocking those who do but for me on a day-to-day -day basis i don't want the heavy feel of like a full coverage foundation so something like this it's still very light it feels very nourishing to the skin and like it just it feels lightweight which i really really like so right now it is 12 10 i am going to come back on here probably just at the end of my day i'm not going to do any you know in between visits but what i will do is i will take a picture with and without flash right now and then i will take a picture with and without flash at the end of my day so i will see you guys in a little while All right, you guys, I am back with my final thoughts on this foundation. It is now 920. So I have had this on for a full nine hours wear. And I must say I am thoroughly impressed. Um, I just got back home from the gym about maybe 20 minutes or so ago. And I did a full two hour workout. I did elliptical training. I did some weight training. And then I took like a pilates class of some sort so i really really put this to the test and the only wear and tear that i really have which is not unusual for me is like a little bit has rubbed off like around my mouth and my nose area but other than that like as you can see my blush highlight and bronzer is still in place I do have a little bit of smudging around my forehead just from me sweating and probably blotting but other than that like for everything else to be maintained and in place this is a really really good foundation and just in case you guys did not or i didn't fully list out all of its claims it says that it's more than just a solution to cover up skin's imperfections it allows you to correct perfect per, correct protect and perfect the look of your skin with all of the vitamins that are infused in this foundation which again is e b3 b5 and it has an spf of 20. so will i recommend this foundation absolutely i love the fact that it does have vitamins infused into it to really enhance the skin help enhance your skin's health over time and then the spf 20 is absolutely essential especially in the summertime and it is extremely lightweight like i said i went to the gym with this and i did not feel like i had a ton of makeup on i didn't feel like i had any makeup on at all to be honest so i would absolutely recommend this i want to say this retails between 11 or 10 to 12 dollars depending on where you get it from again i got this for free through cover girls um what did i guess it's called cover girl insiders program i want to say anybody can sign up for that so i will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out if you are a cover girl yourself and you love trying out products or just you know giving feedback on things that you've already tried definitely check out this program and that wraps it up for my review so again i give this an absolute thumbs up <laughs>
I will say definitely check this foundation out and I hope that this was helpful for you guys and until the next one I will see you guys later. Peace.